broadcasting live from Houston, from the space city to the world, you are watching Now Media Television. Welcome to Pain Diaries. My name is Dr. Suzanne Manzi, and I'm with Performance Pain and Sports Medicine. I am thrilled to be hosting this show on Now Media Television. Pain Diaries is a program that is very important to me as it gives me the opportunity to educate people about healing low back pain, chronic low back pain, and the latest minimally invasive interventional pain management procedures and treatment options. I created this show to share the options and knowledge available to those who are suffering from back pain. Neuromodulation and peripheral nerve stimulation have been a focus on this show, and it's allowed people to learn about the world of chronic back pain relief. If you've ever suffered from any type of back pain, whether it be mechanical or neuropathic, you know how hard it can be to find relief. Pain management is an exciting field today with many technological advances that are helping people live their best lives pain-free. Today's episode of Pain Diaries features some special guests from around the country. I have the CEO of an incredible company, Mainstay Medical, who will be joining us today. I'm also grateful to have a special guest zoomed in from Indiana who will be discussing Mainstay Medical's non-opioid pain relieving minimally invasive device which helps overcome and heal low back pain by strengthening the muscles of the low back. I'll also will be featuring a patient that has this revolutionary interventional pain technology implanted in his low back. Mainstay Medical and their device called Reactivate is really breaking down some doors when it comes to actually healing low back pain. It's going to be a great episode. Remember, you can find me, Dr. Suzanne Manzi, as well as my partner, Dr. Matt Wiederholtz, at Performance Pain and Sports Medicine. Our website is www.performancepain.com, or you can reach us by phone, 346-217-1111. You can find us in the heart of Houston, in the penthouse of the T-Mobile Tower at 4126 Southwest Freeway, Suite 1700. I also go to Main Street in League City, Texas, at my satellite office located in League City Spine and Sports. And make sure to tune into Pain Diaries on the following channels. Now Media TV channel 2110 in Houston, 2720 in Beaumont, 2210 in Atlanta, 24.1 in Eagle Pass and Piedras Negras in Mexico, Now Media telev Television cable channel 24 in Northern Mexico, now Media Radio, 102.9 FM in Chicago and 104.3 FM in Huntsville, Conroe, and Love Lady. Also, Now Media Radio on 95.3 FM in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and Radio 1220 AM in Independence, Iowa. Geraldo USA Channel nationwide in Mexico were also available. And did you know? Coming soon, you'll be able to see Pain Diaries on premier cable TV and internet provided television outlets. Beginning in January 2023, we'll be on 200 smart TVs, live channels, and 112 US cable companies nationwide. Don't forget, tune into Spotify, Apple Podcast, and Amazon Music. And follow us on all social media and our digital platforms such as nowmedia.com. Watch us live 24-7 on any device. We have NowMediaTV, NowMedia.TV, NowMedia.link forward slash YouTube for YouTube TV. For Roku TV, look for NowMedia.link forward slash Roku TV. And NowMediaTV podcast on NowMedia.TV forward slash podcasts. Please note, the information in this show is for informational purposes only and is not medical advice not a substitute for professional medical advice, I urge you to seek medical advice from your physician regarding any medical condition. Reliance on the information provided in this show is provided solely at your own risk. Hi, I'm Dr. Suzanne Manzi, and this is Pain Diaries. <laughs>
Dr. Suzanne Manzi with Performance Pain and Sports Medicine here in Houston, Texas. I welcome you back to Pain Diaries on Now Media Television. Today I'm going to answer a question I received from a guest from the audience with regard to pain management. They wrote, why should I see a specialist for pain management or a pain doctor? Don't you all just prescribe medications? Well, there are different varieties of pain management physicians, and as a pain doctor myself, I can attest we come in many forms. Pain doctors are medical doctors that specialize in chronic pain conditions. Many treatment options are available for treating chronic pain. Some pain doctors do just use medications, but interventional pain management doctors don't use medications to treat our patients, but they're still part of our toolbox to help manage pain and improve people's lives. We're also highly skilled in interventional pain relieving techniques, which are minimally invasive procedures, as well as injections. We utilize different nerve blocks, epidurals, spinal cord, and peripheral nerve stimulation. And we refer to physical therapists and chiropractors to help facilitate incorporating exercise and spinal manipulation to reduce pain. Referrals can also be made to psychologists that help manage coping skills. And dealing with chronic pain is very taxing mentally. Please seek out treatment from a pain management specialist if you or someone you care about may benefit from having their pain relieved so they can start living their best life. I'm excited to share this information and hopefully our guest discussion will elaborate further on today's show. Stay tuned for more to come. I'm Dr. Suzanne Manzi here on Now Media TV in Houston, Texas, and this is Pain Diaries. We'll be right back after a commercial break. Welcome back to Now Media's TV show, Pain Diaries, broadcasting here in Houston, Texas on channel 2110. We are back with Mr. Jason Hannon, CEO of Reactivate, Mainstays Medical's new peripheral nerve stimulator device. Dr. Manzi, how are you? Thanks for having me on. Thank you so much for being with us today. So excited My to have pleasure. you here so we can focus on uh, Mainstay's commitment to solving this major unmet clinical need for chronic low back pain and patient advocacy and access to therapy. Glad to be part of the show and uh, after you spend 15 years trying to get a new therapy to the market, uh, I'm, I'm glad to have a chance to share it with people and uh, we're trying to get it to as many patients as possible and, and uh, we will uh, eventually, but, but I'm glad <laughs> to share it here with you today. Awesome. So can you explain um, the founding and background of Mainstay and what makes Reactivate, Reactivate unlike any other product we've seen before? Absolutely. So this is a 15-year research project that initially started by asking a simple question, um, as, as opposed to saying, how can I help patients deal with the pain that they have in their back? Why do they have pain in their back? And are there portions of it or all of it that we can solve by focusing on cause as opposed to the symptoms of pain. And the early research was figuring out with patients who have back pain, and this is pain in your back, not shooting down your legs, but pain resident in your back. Why does that back pain occur? And for at least a portion of patients, it's tied to, we learned through the research, it's tied to a dysfunctional multifidus muscle. It's the muscle that's a main stabilizer in your low back. And the research was performed to figure out what's the role the multifidus plays in back health and therefore back pain. And if we help to rehabilitate that muscle, can we restore function to your back and, and relieve pain in the process? Again, very much different than asking, can we cover up or help you cope with your pain? So that, that's the origin of it. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a big question to ask because so many people in the world have back pain but we've set out to try and solve a portion of it, or at least solve it for a portion of people. Yeah, that's that's been my experience. I mean, we've only had these palliative type, relieving the pain devices, but not actually fixing the problem of the underlying weakness that goes along with the degenerative discs and the arthritic changes and all the things that can happen in the low back with, with age and, you know, just wear and tear that we get as we live our lives. Yep, yep. So it's very, very true. It's very exciting. I know us well, at I'll, performance I'll, pain I'll show and you a, a little, maybe a little picture, um, or at least an image. Uh, so if this is 
if this is a model, which it is, of, of someone's lower spine, their lumbar spine, typically what happens is if, if someone has an injury in their spine, their muscles that control that area of their spine are sort of shut off by the central nervous system. And our therapy uh, aims to restore function to those muscles and help them perform their, perform their function. And that's, that's really what I mean, Dr. Manzi, about uh, what it means to focus on cause rather than just, like you said, palliating the symptoms. No, for sure. Uh, you know, performance pain and sports medicine here in Texas, we've been seeing great results. And, you know, what kind of results are you seeing on the national level? I have interviewed a few other docs, and I mean, I, I've only heard great things. Are you, are you getting the same feedback from everybody? We are. We're, um, so we started uh, in the UK and Australia originally uh, doing clinical studies with patients. Um, we're now in Germany as well. And then over the last five or six years here in the US, and uh, Probably the best thing to cite is is a big clinical study with lots with over 200 patients. We did um, great results. We have at three years, we have two thirds of the patients reporting themselves to be statistically pain free, um, and this is after, on average, 14 years of chronic back pain. I mean, these are these are remarkable results. We just presented four year results from so patients who've had the therapy for four years, um, sustained long term pain relief in a significant majority of patients. So yeah, we're seeing it across the globe and certainly here in the US. Oh, that's fantastic. And I know you're, you're trying to showcase um, this device and not everybody's really heard of it yet. And that's where we're trying to get the word out. So, I mean, when you, you, have, you have to go to conferences and try and present the data and all the information that you guys have studied over the past few years, um, you know, what, what is the, the importance of going to these? Have you, um, have you had importance with, with pain docs being available, you know, at the conference and showing their interest in learning how to do this procedure and seeing what their, their patients, you know, which patients will benefit from the device? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great question with any new therapy you need the physician community to be willing to put in time to learn something new. Um, we've had a great reception. Uh, the interventional pain physicians in the U.S. have shown great interest. I mean, this is this is the group of physicians like yourself who care for people with chronic pain, and they they are willing to put in time to learn something new, particularly something that can focus on cause and, and restoration of of the patient's underlying problems. So yeah, we go to conferences regularly for the last year and a half. We run training programs where we teach the physicians all the research we've done for the last 15 years and how to help them select the right patients and care for the patients. Um, and it, I would say in particular, this is different because uh, since we're focusing on the cause, the underlying cause of pain for, th for these patients, you don't just get better overnight. We're not, it's not a drug that, that masks the pain. Um, you need to use the device regularly. And that's expectation management. And that is absolutely between the physician and the patient. Setting expectations the right way. You have to utilize your device regularly. You call your doctor with questions or concerns. Um, that requires us to be everywhere. Um, and it requires a receptive physician community like yourself who are willing to put in the time to learn. And um, I think we have a lot of great research to share. We, I know we've got great patient outcomes to share. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been a very good reception from the interventional pain physician community. Yeah, I know you guys have been at every conference I've been to in the past two years or so, and it's been great, you know, seeing you make your inroads into the pain field. It's been, a, it's an exciting time and, you know, new technologies we always love to embrace. Can you tell me a little bit about the, the Mainstay team and how you envision that the future of the company with growth? Absolutely. So this team is founded on clinical knowledge. We have a representative in every surgery, sharing the, the lessons we've learned from the years we've been, we've been managing this. We have multiple ongoing clinical studies. We wanna keep, like if, if there's a portion of patients who don't respond to the, you know, super well to the therapy, we're trying to figure out why. Uh, we're trying to constantly figure out how to make the therapy better. Um, patients activate this therapy themselves. They have control over it. So we need lots of feedback from patients. So the team is set up very much to do that. We have clinical experts 
in the field all the time. And when I say in the field, I mean, they're in your office uh, talking to you, your team, your patients, helping to educate them about the therapy. Um, we're out talking to insurance companies all the time because of course, particularly in the US, you need to make this, this therapy available through your insurance company. Um, we're at all of the, the trade shows and events where new devices like this and new medical products are being shared. Um, so it's very much about education at this point, um, patient education, physician education. Uh, that's how the team's built. Um, we are poised for growth. We think we can can help patients really get back to health and activity and getting back to work and the things they enjoy doing in life. Uh, but it requires us out there driving a lot of education. And anything new requires education. That's how this team is built. Oh, for sure. What do you what what do you what can patients do to help advocate for themselves to access this therapy if their insurance um, is really not covering the therapy yet? That's, that's the key question right now in the US. We have great clinical outcomes. We can demonstrate you have, if you're the right patient, you've got a high chance of success. Um, I would say three things. One, ask your doctor why. Like, why does my back hurt? Uh, is there something out there for me that may target the cause, the underlying cause, as opposed to just cover up the pain symptoms like we were talking about before? Second is involve anyone and everyone who's part of your insurance community. Your employer, if you get your health insurance through work, let, let them know that you need access to this therapy if you and your physician have decided you're a good candidate. Let your, let your HR group advocate on your behalf. Um, we've set up an entire program to advocate with your insurance company directly, but write a letter to your insurance company. Uh, pursue the appeals that are available to you. Um, if you're a Medicare patient, confirm you have access to this, to this therapy through your doctor. Um, these things, in reality, only happen and only only develop this way in this country and get access if people advocate for themselves. Um, we, like I said, we built an entire team to advocate on patients' behalf, uh, but no one listens to someone more than the patient is listened to directly. So we need we need you to be involved, and frankly, you need to be loud. No, it's true. I I see that in my office too. You know, I have I've submit and I submit and I've submitted and. You know the Medicare ones are now being approved and getting covered, and the patients are getting on the table. Um, but the regular commercial insurance, it's a little tricky, and we get a denial, and then we get an appeal, and we deny an appeal, and a deny an appeal. And I do tell the patient, I say, you know, get on the phone. It's your insurance. This is the plan you chose, and if you want to go forward because your back hurts, it's affecting your life. Let's see yep. if we can get them to change their mind. But it do, it comes from you, and it comes from you, you know, helping help yourself. It's absolutely right. No one's a better advocate for you than yourself. We, we can we can try, and your physician will advocate for you. But um, that's how change happens in the insurance system in this country: is people advocate for themselves. Absolutely, but I mean, yeah. Mainstay's medical com, Mainstay's medical's commitment to the patient, I mean, is uncanny. So, how is the patient central to your global strategy for Reactivate? So, I wish I could, uh, if I could turn the camera around, I would I'd be able to show you our. Our global priorities as a company. I mean, this is this is all we do. Uh, this is the only device that we have. It's the therapy we've built. Um, everyone speaks the clinical language inside the company of who's the right patient. How do we select them and care for them and give them the education they need to make sure they're using the therapy, getting the most out of it. Um, we've built an entire team internally. Um, about 15% of the entire company, all they do is talk to patients every day advocate on your behalf, talk to your insurance company, convince the insurance company that this therapy can work for you if you and your doctor have decided it can, fight the appeals, level one appeal, level two appeal. Uh, we'll, we'll fight the appeal for you outside of your insurance company eventually. We'll call the state insurance commissioner if we have to. Um, th that's how this entire company is now set up. We have demonstrated the results in clinical studies. The properly selected patient does extremely well with therapy. Now we're trying to convince the insurance companies to pay for it uh, for you. Um, that's that's our mission right now is, is to get access. And so the whole company is set up that way. Um, we will continue doing research because uh, insurers probably want to keep seeing more research that demonstrates that therapy works. We'll do that as well. Um, but we're advocates for patients now. That's that's what we do and it's central to, to everything. Jason Hannon, CEO of Mainstay Medical. We thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, appreciate your time and your commitment and your energy behind changing people's lives. We love it.
Thanks, Dr. Manzi. Thanks for having us, and thanks for uh, being a great advocate for your patients. Thank you. Take care. Well, this is Pain Diaries, and we'll be back after a commercial break. I'm Dr. Suzanne Manzi. Please take care of you so you can take care of business. Suzanne Manzi here with Performance Pain and Sports Medicine in Houston, Texas. And I'm introducing Ortho Indies non-operative spine specialist, Meredith Langhorst, on Pain Diaries today. She has a knack for identifying patients with low back pain that benefit from treatment with Reactivate. Thank you for taking the time today to be my special guest on today's episode of Pain Diaries. Thank you, Dr. Manzi. I'm excited to be here. Awesome. First, I was hoping you could share your experience with Reactivate and what your patients have reported back to you regarding this device. Yeah, so I have been very fortunate to work with Reactivate now since 2016. I was actually one of the investigators on our Pivoter trial that got us FDA approval for the device here in the US. And so I have a fair amount of experience over the years and my experience for patients has been just absolutely fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, these patients are typically very underserved. Many of them have pain for um, you know, extended number of years. I think the average duration of chronic back pain in our trial was 14 years. And so these patients know what it's like to live with back pain on a daily basis, have been through multiple treatments, and they have been offered this kind of is we call it disease modifying or restoration, rehabilitation. So they've been offered a therapy that not just changes how they feel, but completely changes their functional levels and returns them to a very active life to allow them to meet their goals. And I mean, it's put them on a completely different trajectory than they were previously. So I, I am very excited to be able to offer this therapy uh, to my patients and I, I know as you were chatting with Jason Han and our CEO earlier, you know, it's it's our jobs now to get coverage so these patients have access to this therapy. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean I I was telling Jason too in my practice, you know, I just keep submitting for those patients with the the commercial insurance that they just deny. And then I appeal and they deny and I appeal. And it's a process. And you know, that patient has to advocate for themselves too. You know, if they've had this pain for a long time, we want their back pain to get better. And we know this treatment works. So um, with time it will come. And I'm excited, you know, to get more patients on the table too, so they can help them and then they can help themselves better. And it's just it's infectious almost in your practice because when they have such profound improvement in their everyday lives, they share it with the next person. And so then, you know, before you know it, you have other people coming to you that say, you know, I have a friend or a family member that's had this and they're doing great and I wanna know more about it. And so it, it just, it becomes infectious in your community. Uh, and, and that's, you know, so your own patients are now advocating for the therapy. They're advocating for you because you are the one that's provided this treatment to them. Absolutely. So in your experience, since you've been doing this for so many years, do you recommend somebody trying to get in shape first? Or is this more someone who's ignored the pain so long it's almost too late? Yeah, so that's, that's a great question. And, and the great thing that we see is it's, it really can be very variable. I have patients that I have implanted that, you know, you would look on the street and think, well, they're fit and active. And so why would they need something like this? And I have patients that unfortunately haven't been able to be quite as active because their back pain has been so limiting to them, but they're super motivated. And I have seen this therapy help both of those different groups or categories and everyone in between. I think there's no, you know, anyone can have multifidus inhibition, anyone can have back pain, right? And so it's more kind of listening to your patient's history and for specific cues that you hear from them to say, okay, yes, I 
really believe based off of your history and then some physical exam assessments that you know your underlying issue is lumbar multifidus dysfunction and therefore i think you would benefit from this type of therapy and it 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 can affect almost anyone that you see in your practice have you um been working with physical therapists closely before and or after the therapy has been implanted as well yeah so i have we have really good relationships with our physical therapists around us. And so it's been great to create a relationship that's even stronger between the two communities because I rely on them for their opinion. Um, I want these patients all going through really good physical therapy beforehand with motor control exercises. And so I have great trust in the therapists around me that they're having these patients go through this type of program but then also understanding about the therapy and the limitations sometimes and why some of these patients might still need reactivate to get to their end goals and then what we need to do in therapy afterwards to help them reach those goals and the nice thing is i mean when we looked at the the trial this pivotal trial for this right those patients didn't undergo physical therapy afterwards because we wanted less variables and they did great so physical therapy in combination now we're looking at health and wellness and just taking these patients to a whole different level no that's that's great i know as a physiatrist um you know i'm, I'm all about therapy you have to go to therapy you have to keep your back strong and you have to do the exercises you you don't use it you lose it right that's always my motto um so therapists are always a, a huge a huge benefit you know to help with the therapies that we that we suggest and we utilize for patients pain relief um, but this reactivate device you know has it goes that extra mile where the therapist can't really get to um, right. you know the 30 minutes a day that people use it in the morning and then 30 minutes at night you know you get that that great muscle activation in the back and hopefully those muscles get retrained and then you don't have that that weakness anymore. So tell me more about the patient selection. I know we talked a little earlier about you know weakness. Can you describe what patients describe to you and who would be a great candidate with low back weakness per se? Sure, so a lot of times we'll hear these patients, they say they feel, their back feels unstable. They might also be telling us that you know they have these chronic intermittent episodes where their back goes out and it's with these small low tasks so everyday life tasks so maybe it's brushing their teeth or washing their face um, it could be putting their shoes on and their back goes out it could be subtly you know reaching into the refrigerator to get something out and their back might go out i've had patients say they were bending over a table just to help their kids with homework and their back goes out and it's not just that it's one time and it never happens again. Maybe that's where it starts. But then what we see is chronically these episodes happen more frequently and more frequently. So oftentimes patients will say to you, oh, my back pain started 10 years ago, five years ago, 20 years ago. And just over the years, it's becoming more progressive and I'm having significant more number of episodes now than I did before. And then some individuals, it's not even episodes, it's just constant and chronic, but they always feel unstable. They're never sure of their movements. They say one day, maybe I'm okay getting something out of the refrigerator and the next day I'm not. And then patients will also say they have really challenging times doing anything for a prolonged period of time, prolonged sitting or prolonged standing. Some of them might even say they feel really good if they have a back brace on, like they feel support, although we don't want them wearing a back brace regularly. Um, all of those triggers, especially if they don't have any sciatica or leg pain, um, and they've had you know all this back pain ongoing for some time, and they've tried therapy. In my head, I'm a light bulb's going off, and I'm saying lumbar multifidus dysfunction, and you know, and then I show them, I explain it to them, I, I do their physical exam testings with them, and explain what we're doing, review their MRI imaging, right. Um, I think that's helpful so that they understand what's going on in their backs as well. Absolutely. And, you know, once people get the, the gist of it and then they feel the relief, I mean, it's spreading like wildfire. People tell their friends and their family and they say, oh, then you should go see this pain doc. You know, maybe they can help you too. So it, right. it's one of those feel good kind of therapies, which is great. 
Right. And it's the only thing, I mean, I've been in practice just about 18 years and it's the only thing in my practice that has actually, right, restored function and relieved or significantly improved patient's pain for an extended ongoing period of time. I have patients from that, that trial in 2016 that have been what we say back pain remitters. I mean, they have actually literally been pain free for five and six plus years. I mean, I, I don't have any other therapy in my practice that can offer that. Um, so I'm very passionate about this. Absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm so excited to see my patients' results in the future because, um, you know, I just started doing this and, you know, I'm, I'm super passionate about it too because, yes, this sounds amazing. And I'm like, oh, I want one too. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need one also. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's revolutionary. So it's nice to not have just a palliative treatment where you're actually changing things and making function better. So that's been, that's been awesome. Um, anything else you, you think patients should know about, you know, if they want to self-select themselves to come to see a pain doc to see if they're a, a candidate? Yeah, I think for me, it's if they've had longstanding back pain, and again, and they don't have a lot of primary leg pain, and, you know, initially we, we want to see patients that have had prior surgery, um, you know, fusions and whatnot, but if, if you've been told that, you know, we have a procedure, you can get an injection and you keep repeating those, but you're not getting long-standing improvement and you have pain with small load tax, little things in life that shouldn't cause you pain, cause you pain, I think you should reach out about this. And, it, and, and you can be in your 20s, I've seen patients, and I've seen patients in their 70s, right? So it's, it's, it's not an age, um, it's, it's a movement disorder that develops because as humans get back pain from the things that we do in life. No, that's, that's great. Um, well, thank you so much, you know, for being here with us today and taking the time to share Reactivate with the world. We appreciate thank you. you. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Now we're also going to chat with one of your patients and he's going to tell us about his story uh, regarding yeah. this device. So yes, I'm excited for him to share his story with you. Thank you for having him. Thank you. I'm Dr. Suzanne Manzi. Thank you, Dr. Meredith Langhorst. This is Pain Diaries. Take care of you so you can take care of business. Welcome back. Dr. Suzanne Manzi here with Performance Pain and Sports Medicine, and this is Pain Diaries. We are back to tell the story about Mainstay Medicals Reactivate, and I have a patient here with us today who's going to tell us about his journey. Mr. Wilkins, yeah. thank you for being it's with been us a good today. One. I wanted to ask you how did you, um, you had low back pain for a long time. So can you tell us your story yes. about your low back pain and how you ended up here now with the Reactivate device? Well, Dr. Langhurst had given me injections for about eight, nine, ten years. And it just got to where it wasn't working at all anymore. And I went and seen a surgeon and he said, I didn't need surgery and I need to go back to Dr. Langhurst. So I went back to Dr. Langhurst and you know, we've known each other for a long time. We're, we're a patient doctor relationship, but you know, we've known each other so long that it's more than that. But anyway, uh, I, she came in, I went, I went seen her and they put me in the room and she came in smiling ear to ear and sat down. She says, Danny, I can fix you. And that they had just released this, uh, reactivate. And I said, let's do it. I mean, there was no thinking about it. I just told her, let's do it. And she did it, and uh, everything's been good since. That's great. Well, how long ago have you had it put in? It's been a little over a year. Okay. And I know I'm because thinking. it helps regrow the muscles, it takes usually six to nine months. Did you start having relief immediately, or was it longer to get the relief? I actually seen relief in a matter of a few weeks. 
after about three months, I could really tell a big difference. Oh, wow. I mean, you got to understand, before she put this thing in me, I couldn't walk 10 minutes that I didn't have to sound rest for 10 minutes. I mean, it just, it, yeah, I couldn't do anything. I, you know, it just, the pain had gotten so bad that, uh, you know, something had to be done. And by golly, uh, thanks to Reactivate, <laughs> I'm, I'm playing golf again. I'm doing things that I haven't been able to do for a long time. I actually, I'm living in Florida now. I can actually go to Epcot and walk all day long, not have a problem. Uh, I'm playing uh, uh, sports, some sports activities where I live, uh, 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 beach tennis for one of them. Uh, and there's, a, you know, I mean, you're on the sand, you're running and, you know, I mean, that stuff I could have never done with that. I mean, it's just, it's just made a, a, such a world of difference in my life. I mean, it's just a great, uh, a great device. I absolutely love hearing absolutely that. Love That's really amazing. Really. Now the device, can you tell us um, and tell other people what it feels like when you're using it and how long you use it every day? I use it 30 minutes at night and uh, for a year or about, I used 30 minutes at night, 30 minutes in the morning. Uh, now, sometimes now I'll miss it in the morning, but not very often. I still do it every night religiously. I do not not do it. And uh, it just, uh, it feels like if, if, if you would take your hand and put it over your wrist and just lightly squeeze it for about 10 seconds, and then release it and then do it again and release it. And that's all you feel. But I, I will say this, I start the device when I go to bed at night and I go to sleep. So I don't even know when the 30 minutes is up because I go to sleep. I mean, that's it, it. You don't hardly feel, you feel it a little bit, absolutely zero pain. Uh, it's just a, a little, like I said, grab your other wrist and just squeeze a little bit and release it. And that's what it's going to feel like. That's great. So you, you're able to set it for that 30 minutes and then it automatically turns off if you do fall asleep? Yes. Okay. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Are you able to walk around with it on or you lay down to do it? I lay down when I do it. Okay. I, you know, I guess I could if I wanted to. Uh, I know when I had it put in, they wanted me to, to lay on my stomach and I said, boy, that's hard for me to do. And they said, well, as long as you lay on your side, you're okay. So I'm, I'm on my side, but still it works. And it, you know, it, she put it in my left side, lower back. And I, and that's actually the side I sleep on. So, you know, it's, uh, I have, I've had no problems with it all. I mean, it just, I just can't tell you how much it's helped me. <laughs> how long was your restrictions after they put it in? Did you have to stop doing everything for a few weeks? No, not really. I mean, uh, no, you know, I wasn't, I'm not, you got me thinking now I'm trying to think, I mean, I wasn't lifting anything. I didn't, wasn't supposed to lift anything. I think over five pounds for a while, but I don't exactly remember when that was. I wasn't supposed to play golf or try to play golf for three months. Uh, <laughs> And I would, you know, I would check with her. I mean, before I started doing anything, I would call her office and and uh, uh, say, you know, hey, am I going to hurt myself if I do this? And and she would let me know. And and so, you know, she kind of coached me through it. But you know, that's from being her patient for so many years. You know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. She's a great doctor. I mean, you had all these injections and you've had all these treatments and, you know, they provide temporary relief, but it's really nice that, you know, now you could have something much longer lasting and your relief is significant. Well, you know what, the, it, it's, uh, I was to a point where, you know, when, I mean, I've had so many injections, they didn't even work anymore. Yeah. It just, there wasn't any sense of doing it. Uh, because it just didn't help. And, and I mean, my lifestyle was really hindering because, because of the pain and, and, uh, this made it all go away. I mean, I just can't tell you. I mean, you, know, you can get a little bit every once in a while, you know, if I turn, you know, uh, 
uh, like sometimes, you know, playing sand tennis, you know, but you know, if it, if it irritates a little bit, I just go sit down for about five minutes and I'm good the rest of the day. I mean, That's it's just fantastic. that good. That is really, really fantastic. Thank you so much. Is there anything else you think we need to know? No, all I can do, I don't know who else watching this, but if anybody that hasn't had it done that has the same problem I have, you do it. You will really be happy. <laughs> well, we really appreciate your enthusiasm for the device, and I'm really, I'm so happy for you that you are living your best life now with a lot, lot less back pain. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm 70 years old, and I'm playing sand tennis. <laughs> Good for you. High five. <laughs> Actually, I'm 71, but yeah. <laughs> Well, Mr. Wilkins, I really appreciate you being on Pain Diaries with us today and sharing your story. If you or somebody you know or love needs treatment in the Indianapolis, Indiana area, Dr. Langhorst is there at Ortho Indy. And you can find me and my partner, Dr. Matt Wiederholtz, here in oh, Houston yeah. at one I'm, of my two- I'm living in Florida now, but, but uh, I've told many, many people. I mean, anybody that they got lower back pain, I tell them about it. Awesome. Come see us and see if Reactivate's right for you. Take it from Danny, he's one to know. I'm Dr. Suzanne Manzi, and this is Pain Diaries. We'll return after a commercial break. Welcome back to Pain Diaries, and I wanna make a special thank you to our guest today, Mr. Jason Hannon, CEO of, React, of uh, Mainstay Medical with Reactivate Device, Dr. Meredith Langhorst, um, at Ortho Indy and her patient Danny, who is a patient with Reactivate. I'm gonna play this video about the device just to recap so you can understand a little bit better what we discussed today. Mainstay's Reactivate is an implantable device designed to electrically stimulate nerves to activate key stabilizing muscles of the lumbar spine. Chronic low back pain consists of an ongoing cycle of muscle weakening pain, and activation suppression of the core spine muscles by the brain. Reactivate is designed to stimulate the nerves responsible for contracting the multifidus muscles. The brain senses the muscle contractions and in response can trigger restoration of muscle control. With the multifidus again providing joint stability, the continuing cycle is interrupted, facilitating a recovery from chronic low back pain. You can find that patient educational video on the patient education landing page on Mainstay Medical's website, www.lowbackpainrecovery.com. You can find education on the pathology, the solution, clinical outcomes, patient testimonials. There's call to actions, a health survey to assess candidacy for Reactivate, and an RSVP intake to begin the authorization process. You can also sign up to attend monthly virtual patient education webinars, and you can sign up for pat the Patient Ambassador Program and talk to people like Danny, who's had a successful implant. We really appreciate our guests for being here with us today and providing insight into the world of chronic low back pain and healing options. We look forward to seeing you again on the show here in Houston, Texas at 2110 on Now Media TV and across all our platforms and channels. I'm Dr. Suzanne Manzi with Performance Pain and Sports Medicine, and this is Pain Diaries. Take care of you so you can take care of business. We'll see you next time. This has been a Now Media Television feature presentation. All rights reserved.